Alright, if you don't have a control box for your dance pad, whether it's a blue shock or a cobalt flux or whatever it is, uh, then you probably have an end such as this. This is uh, a 15 pin uh, connector, kind of like a VGA. And uh, yeah, so what we did, we have this, check it out. So from that we have a agenda changer, please don't get offended. <laughs> so that converts the male pins there into a female, then out into a female. That goes into a breakout, which is called a VGA breakout. And then from here we just need to know the pins for the pad. So uh, Blue Shark will be different to Cobalt Flux, you can get them online. I'll show you Blue Shark right now. So there's the pin out for the Blue Shark. And then from those pinouts, we go into this cool little device, which is called an arcade game button joystick controller, which supports PC, it supports PlayStation, even uh, phones, Android phones. So it's pretty cool. Uh, what you have to do, I'm using uh, the red wire as the ground here. So from the pad, just connect uh, one. Uh, the ground pin is number five. Uh, even though that says ground, just ignore it, it's bullshit. Um, ground, um, I'm using red, so connect that to number five. You only need one of these to go to the ground. So I have this one going in. The others I've just trimmed, just to keep it tidy in here. And the black ones, that's for each arrow. So you can see here, each arrow comes in right there. For the rest of it, because this pad doesn't have start, select, and all that stuff, I've just used the buttons. This comes with this device here, these buttons, so you're ready to go. So I've just connected one to each button. On this little device here, it's not you don't get a manual with it, it's really annoying. Um, so on the un underside of the board there's AD which means down, there's AU which means up, and that's for the, the dance pad. And also you have uh, in order triangle, square, cross and circle. Um, that's these four down here. And start and select are up there. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And when it's together, when it's together, it looks like this. Check it Check out. Check our yeah. box. The box took like a minute to make. You can see that I went bad with the drill. But that's okay, right? So I zip tied them in. Here we can quickly connect USB for the PC, connect our Blue Shark right to it, and it's working like nobody's business. You can pretty it up with electrical tape. <laughs> uh, so with it all connected, it looks like this. And if you want to run it on PlayStation, it comes with this uh, little cable here. It uh, gives you two ends and you just plug those in on there as well. Okay, let's load up Statmania. Give it a test. Go to Options. Joystick Mappings. Map it here. We've done uh, up, down, left, right. And you can also map the buttons on the cardboard box here. Alright, here we go. We haven't modded it yet, but... Um, <laughs> There it is. You're gonna press, press. It, it, it's over now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we just gotta do the uh, um, little Neuros. What, what is it? Little Caesars. Oh, Caesars one. Yeah, so this is the Little Caesars <laughs> mod. You put these under the arrows, it works a lot better. Yeah, so that's the completed setup right there. I'll put the pinouts for the uh, Blue Shark and Cobalt Flux in the description below. And also the parts, the exact parts to get this working in the description below. Click them and uh, buy them. They are not that expensive. I hope it helped. So I had an old Xbox shell lying around for the longest time. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. So made a nice little upgrade. The pad input's just at the back there. And uh, here's the cable that you know, goes to the system or PC. The buttons can be cut out with just some of these drill bits here. Um, this is the size. Yeah, pretty cool. Good luck with yours.